so we're at level at two all and now moving to three two so fans then on one service left in the sequence of uh, two and he's down two three the Ingoyan very very quick to attack the service First appearance in the Asian Cup, of course, for Fan Zendong, twice the runner-up. So whatever happens in this match, we have a new Asian Cup champion. We've already had one in the women's singles with uh, Zhu Yuling, another one waits now. So, uh, Lin Go Yan. 5 2 ahead. And I just watched the use of the responder service there. You see, just at the very near end of the stroke, how he applies spin on the table tennis ball. Pan Zendong serving, trailing 3 5. Pendulum service. That is the. Uh, Forearm vertical. Right. That backhand goes long, and with that level at five all. Lingo Yang, another difference between these two players is uh, Lingo Yang plays at very, very high risk level, whereas Fan Zendong is the more safe and assured player. He is the master of putting one more ball back on the table than his opponent. Somehow he finds answers. So, level at six all. was a little long but uh, error from uh, Lin Go Yang. Uh, see, see the service action. flick over the net and the uh, very slight advantage is with Berlin uh, Goyan at 8-7. Now to 9-7. So the service uh, changes. Han Zendong, two serves to come, but down 7-9. Seven ten, and that gives Pan Zendong three match points. Three, sorry, three game points. He has to save three game points in favour of Lin Goyang. He only needed one. First game goes to Lin Goyang. Eleven seven. Well, of course, when we played in uh, Hyderabad in 2012, uh, one expected uh, Lin Go Yan would win that final because he played in the two previous ones, and uh, Pan Zendong was then only 14 years old, but uh, Pan Zendong showed us on that occasion he was a mighty, mighty mature uh, 
14 year old in that World Junior Championships. And one thing is that Lindor Jan has a point to prove, not necessarily just to try to win this tournament, uh, but to uh, the powers that be who select the players for the major, major tournaments of the world uh, in China. At the moment, we have Zhangji, Kazhu Jing, Fan Zendong and Ma Long. They're tending to uh, be the top four. Now, uh, for Lin Go Yan, he's trying to break into that group. It's worth questioning the boy's abilities you just saw there. Fast and lethal. Now, I just feel there's just some ties with Lin Go Yan. He's playing at an incredible level, and then he dips down, whereas uh, the level uh, of Pan Zendong is uh, much more equilibrium. So Pan Zendong serving at one. And there you saw the hand skills, the exceptional hand skills of uh, Lin Go Yang. The way over the table, near the net, he was able to attack strongly. And when I say hand skills, I suppose maybe I should say wrist skills. Just flies long. Lindo Yan serving. And there we saw it on the opening, but then he, he had the opportunity, he made the opening and then just made the mistake. So at the moment, uh, Lingo Yan, one service left in the sequence of two, is three two ahead. Oh, that is absolutely tremendous. Late change of direction, well directed, and of course, very deep. The deeper you can play the table tennis ball, the nearer the far edge of the table, the more it uh, stretches your opponent and reduces the chance that they will get an angle against you. And uh, I just wondered if we uh, could find some statistics which are, you know, no such statistics exist. Is the extent to which players use the lower part of the body, the legs. Fan Zendong uses those legs more than most. Very strong from the lower part of the body. Produces the power in the strokes. Peace with uh, Dan Raj Chowdhury in the uh, check jacket. And everybody, of course, enthralled by the table tennis. Oh, my word. Did I say he had hand skills? Well, that stroke, may I say, with uh, a little arrogance. Prove me right. Oh. So we're at six all, and then Goyan is serving. Six, seven. 
Well, there's no question is his skills. It's just keeping a level to his play, not having a dip. Oh, fortune for Van Zendon. No chance. So interesting here. Fan Zendong moving to the forehand to serve with his forehand and uh, changing the uh, geometry of the play and changing it successfully. Now Fan Zendong, one service left in this sequence of two. He leads 9-6 and he's gone and done the same again. And that is to cut out this rapid fire backhand that is... Uh, coming from Lingo Yan wide to Fan Zendong's forehand and caused him problems. So that's very clear thinking from Fan Zendong. So Lingo Yan serving, trail 7-9. That service. Seven, nine. Now that takes the score to 7-10. Three game points for Fan Zendong. Three game points, only one needed. Fan Zendong takes the second game by exactly the same margin as he lost the first. It's one game all between Lin Go Yan and Fan Zendong in this best of seven games men's final at the ATTU ITTF Asian Cup here in the city of Ahmedabad. Well, of course, being the Asian Cup, um, at the moment, uh, when we look at the countries of East Asia, we go over, of course, to China, to Japan, uh, to Korea, to Chinese Taipei, to Hong Kong. These are the powerhouses of table tennis in the world at the moment. There's a major challenge, of course, from Germany, always strong, France now strong. And uh, maybe uh, Sweden starting to come back after the golden, golden years of the uh, 60s, 70s and 80s. And of course, Sweden didn't do too bad in 2000 when they won the uh, men's team event at the World Championships. But throughout this century, very much the impetus has been with... Uh, the East Asia region. Just, this is the problem with Lin Go Yang, the high risk level at which he has to play, whereas Fan Zendong is much safer. is Fan Zendong. He was in trouble two or three times in that rally and somehow he stayed there. Somehow he gets that ball back on the table. Look, he's totally off balance. And that is the art. That is the strength of Fan Zendong. How he does it, not even Fan Zendong knows. Attempting to be quick from the backhand, goes long. We level at two all. Then serving with the forehand from the forehand, quite unusual, but of course it's uh, enabling him to cover the uh, wide angle on the forehand.
So three all, two serves to come from Lin Goyan. And uh, this modern day uh, so called banana return of service, uh, Fan Zendong's one of the great experts, but uh, he missed out. Think for fans then don't. Out again to the forehand to serve with the forehand. Now he played that forehand quite correctly into the body, into the indecision area of Lin Go Yan, and Lin Go Yan was fast enough. So fans then don't serving and trailing 3 6. <laughs> Now there for me with Lin Go Yang just trying to do just too much. Just too expansive. Of course when it goes on like that, well uh you have to be some player to get it back or even see it. Now we see the technique and then go again in like a pocket. Standing over the table near the net, uh, Lin Goyan, because of his uh, quite incredible hand skills. So, Fan Zendong serving, trailing 4 9. Well, now trailing 4 10, so it's six game points for two games to one lead for Lin Goyan. There we are. Lin Go Yan takes the third game, 11 4. So, uh, lots of children, families have come to watch the, uh, the table tennis and uh, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying the occasion. Good job that uh, players aren't having to advise from the coaches if uh, the music rolls at that level. Not me entertaining. So we're uh, we're back in action. It's going to be Lin Goyan to serve. He's leading two games to one. And then somehow, Fan Zendong finds the answers. Level up one off. gone right out of the arena it's uh oh, well, thank you very much indeed 
Then they needed the cameraman to head it back. Level at two all. Game so fast from Lingo Yan and the repost from Fan Zendong. The anticipation and the control from Fan Zendong. Well, outstanding. from fans and dog did actually just uh, clip the top of the net and change the speed on the ball but fans and dog serving in is ahead 4-2 now a little low in uh, Lingo again the level has just gone down a fraction but only a fraction Rifle too consistent. Leads seven two. service oh. Oh, tremendous angle from the backhand then just control to win the point 7-4 in favour of Pan Zendong So the score moves to 7-5 and uh, just maybe a little bit of tension with Van Zendong. So it's Lin Goyan to serve, he's trailing 5-7 and of course he is a master of changing the service at the last minute but uh, that was well well read by Van Zendong. And there's Mr. Table Tennis. So now the service changes. 8 6 in favour of Fan Zendong. Uh, Lingo Yan still in with a sniff of this game. So now uh, Fan Zendong gone back to the more orthodox service, serving from the backhand. And uh, Wingo Yang tries to exploit the gap wide to the forehand, but he exploits it just that bit too much. Uh, 
Oh, tremendous. Fast, back on top spin. Gap now back to two points. So Lin Go Young trailing 7 9, but with two serves to come. Tied the back end. Uh, that one. I thought the forehand topspin was the better option there. I can't really understand the thinking. <laughs> and, and this is it, just out of the blue, it, it, it produces the quite remarkable uh, strokes if you can, but uh, the advantage is very much with Pan Zendong. Pan Zendong serving at 10 8. Game point save 10 9. on the face of Bin Goyan. So this fourth game goes the way of Fan Zendong 11-9. It's parity. Two games each. So uh, Fan Zendong ITTF World Tour titles winner last year of the uh, Men's World Cup, of course. Lin Go Yan has none of those, and uh, he's trying to make his mark at that level. Very much when we had the uh, Rio 2016 Olympic Games, the London 2012 Olympic Games, uh, Lin Go Yan was really in the second team as one of the practice partners. Such is the might of China. Get it out of bounds. So here we go, start of uh, the fifth game, Panzen Nong Seven. One service uh, left in this uh, sequence of two is trailing one two. Six. One thing the way that Lindor Yan plays, he didn't take any prisoners. Also, look when he's receiving, so the angle of his feet. Many, uh, many players will stand square to the table when receiving from uh, the player who's uh, the right-hander or vice versa. 
but uh, not Lin Go Yan and very much with the Chinese players they do keep the stance open when the left hand is playing the right or the right is playing the left Aerofon Pan Zengong unusual Lin Go Yan goes ahead 4-2 So four to ahead and two serves to come for Lin Go Yan. Backhand goes wide. He didn't move quick enough. So on is even. Service change, Pan Zendong is serving, trailing 3-5. Now the gap extends again. So Fan Zendong serving, 3-6. So this is not really read there, not read by um, Lin Go Yan. Strong core hand to the middle. Basic tactics. So it's Lin Go Yan to serve, he's down, shall I say, he's ahead, 6-4. Now 8-4 now, Lin Go Yan again suddenly for the last five or six points played at a quite amazing level. So Fan Zendong is serving and trailing 4-8. Long Takes a score to 10 5 in favour of Lin Go Yan. Gives him five game points for a three games to two lead. And again tries to create the angle, goes long. That is the fifth game to Lin Go Yan. Takes the fifth game, 11 5. Well, are we here for uh, what could be quite an upset? Uh, it's a, it's a test, is this tournament for Lin Go Yan, and at the moment he's getting very, very, very high marks. The question is, can he keep this uh, level, this very, very high level? I've always known this young man was talented. I watched him in Seoul, in Korea in 2010, when he won the under-21 men's singles uh, title at the ITTF World Tour Grand Finals, and when I saw him there, was I expecting even to see him maybe knocking on the door 
for a place in the 2012 Olympic team or possibly for 2016 in Rio, but none of that happened, none of it. He was very much uh, in the practice partner role. So permission now, uh, what is happening? The reason for the break is that uh, Fan Zendong is asking to leave the arena in order that he can uh, change his shirt and Lin Goyan has decided to follow, why not? So uh, that is why we just have this little break in playing. Uh, of course, in these uh, situations, then uh, they are accompanied by an official and you can just see them there leaving the arena. It is quite unusual for both of them to leave. So uh, one or two uh, the different things are happening here at the moment. But um, uh, we see the crowd there, maybe just wondering what's happened. and. Uh, the answer is the two players have left the arena to change the shirt. And uh, our assistant umpire, Mr. Krishna Kumar, sits quietly in his seat. Or should I say, no, he's the head umpire, that is Mr. Amit Kumar. So here we have the Nal Sarava Bird Sanctuary. This is uh, in Ahmedabad. And uh, Lake Ambient Marshes comprising the sanctuary is spread over 120 square kilometers. It's the largest wetland and sanctuary in the state of Gujarat and one of the largest in England, in India. Established formally in 1969, its lake and marsh regions attract over 210 species of birds in the winter. That and a whole host of plants and animals make it the perfect destination for a scenic family outing. The shallow areas and ponds on the outer fringes of the lake attract the wading birds. So quite naturally, it's been declared a Ramsar Convention site and as a wetland of international importance. The only such to have received a prestigious honour in India and a historic development for the sanctuary. And there we see, and we'll look at the wonderful site, isn't it? the wildlife and uh, preserved here in Ahmedabad. Gracefully, the bird flies. And here, back in the uh, hall, we're ready to start again. It's the sixth game. It is Lin Goyan serving, and he's won the first point. So one all, Fan Zendong with a sequence of two serves to come. Uh, excessive use of the leg strong, Fan Zendong. Very, very strong legs. Uh, very quick over the table, the wonderful hand skills of Lin Goyan. Level at two all with uh, Lin Goyan, his two serves to come. Oh, he moved, he anticipated. Rocket forehand down the parallel takes Lingo Yan to a 3 2 advantage. <laughs> Level at 3 all. Strengths of both players somehow Fan Zendong stayed in the point and uh, Lin Go Yan showed his great skill but just overdid it that fraction. 
So Fan Zendong serving, leading 4 3. He's missed that forehand flick down the line, down the parallel, three or four times in this match. Mr. Safety first, he's just been making one or two errors. We level at 4 all. 5 4 ahead for Fan Zendong on his. for. Uh, didn't go Yan on his own service. I'm getting excited myself. Just hits the net and flies long. Goes long again, trying to be positive. Knows that anything weak, that Lingo Yan will be in there like a terrier dog snapping at his heels. So the service changes. Fan Zendong is trailing 4-6, he's down two games to three, sequence of two serves to come. How crucial could that point be? 4-7. Fan Zendong serving, he trails 4-7. Just pitch the net, flies long. Still the two point gap. Change of service. Fan Zendong to serve. Trailing 5 7. Ooh, so close. Just the net cord. So Lingo Yan serving at 7-5. At 8-5. Return of service into the net. Lingo Yan started as the number seven C and he's on the brink. Lingo Yan ahead 9-5. Fan Zen Dong to serve and he's trailing 5 9. Oh, my word! Lin Go Yan at 10 5. He has five game points. Five match points, five championship points. This is the biggest moment in the career of Lin Goyan. The number seven seed against the top seed is on the brink of a sensation. Fan Zendong serving at 5'10. And he's made it! Lin Go Yan has won the Asian Cup. At the first time of asking, Lin Go Yan causes an absolute sensation here in Ahmedabad. Remember, the very first match he played in this tournament, he was beaten by Japan's Jun Mitsutani. He's come through to win the men's singles event. He's beaten Fan Zendong. He's beaten the top seed. He's beaten the reigning winner of the Men's World Cup, the runner-up in the World Championships. He's beaten one of the greatest players on planet Earth. Lin Go Yan lays to rest the gremlins of 2012 when he lost to Fan Zendong in the boys singles final at the World Junior Championships. Lin Go Yan is the Asian champion. He beats Fan Zendong. 11-7, 7-11, 11-4, 9-11, 11-5, The name of the winner is Lin Goyan. Well, disappointment for Fan Zendong, but my, what a performance by Lin Goyan. He can blow hot and cold. My word here, he was blowing hot. He was boiling hot.
and in the city where the average temperature is around 31, 32 degrees Celsius, getting into the 90s Fahrenheit every day of the year. Well, uh, this boy, he responded, and he responded magnificently. And no disrespect to Van Zendong, but to see this young man who's been cast over so, so many times for selection for the first team, China, to see him win a big, big tournament, well, it does the heart good. And I think that everybody here has just been so excited by the way he's played. Absolutely wonderful display. Exciting to watch. Fast, quick, tremendous hand skills. Well, uh, Korea's uh, Yu Sung Min was uh, always named uh, Speedy Gonzalez. Well, he's got a worthy successor in Lee Yan. I mean, this boy is absolute. He's grease lightning with superb hands. So we're just getting ready for our ceremonies. And uh, there we see the tale of today. Women's bronze medal went in seven games to Kazumi Ishikawa. And all Japanese at first, he beat Mio Hirano. Then Lee sang so he delighted us with his athletic skills as he beat Chen Chenan. And then what a dramatic women's final. Unbelievable final with Zhu Yu Ling standing firm to beat uh, Lucy Wen. Then, well, what better note could we finish on? The underdog wins, the number seven seed wins. Lin Go Yan beats Pan Zendong. Well, this has been, without any question whatsoever, a tournament in Ahmedabad to remember. A wonderful tournament. I shall certainly remember it. And for me to see Lin Goyan come good, well, wonderful.